Hello, everybody, and thank you for tuning in to Nizzy's Sports Chat. I am your host, Nizzy. And in this video, we're going to be breaking down the Green Bay Packers selection in the third round of wide receiver Amari Rogers out of Clemson. I think this is a great pickup, you guys. We ended up trading up a little bit in the third round. I think we jumped ahead seven spots there um, and took Tennessee's pick. And in return, we gave them our third round pick as well as our first pick in the fourth round. I think that's a nice trade up, to be honest with you. We have two picks in the fourth, fifth, and the sixth, so trading one away in the fourth is okay. Because we still have another pick in the fourth round, and then we still got another five picks coming up after that. So nothing wrong with the trade up to go get a guy that we were uh, high on and that we really wanted to get. So Amari Rogers out of Clemson. We needed some wide receiver depth. We've been waiting on a slot receiver ever since uh, Randall Cobb left. And I think this guy's going to fill that role very nicely for us. He comes in at five foot nine, two hundred and twelve pounds, so a little bit shorter of a guy, but he's beefy, right? Two hundred and twelve pounds. He's definitely not a twig. Um, he's got more of a running back body, which is perfect for that slot as well as running jet sweeps and uh, being that gadget guy that we really need, basically. Because Swervin Irvin was injured too much. Tavon Austin was old. I don't even think he's on contract with us this year. I think it was, he just came in last season for us. Um, so this gives us our gadget guy for the future. Can also return kickoffs and uh, punts, which is good. Uh, just some stats on the 2020 season he played last year. Uh, he led Clemson in receiving with 77 catches, 1,020 yards, which was an average of 13.3 yards per catch. Just not super high, but it's pretty nice, right? He's basically averaging over a first down every catch he gets, which is good. He also had tied uh, for the lead on his team with seven touchdowns. Um, so a good production from the guy. He's got sure hands, doesn't drop a lot of balls, which is something the Packers really need, especially with guys like MVS and Lazard. And man, just every time we were watching games last year, it seems like one of our receivers was dropping a big time catch in a pivotal moment during the games last year. Um, there's probably three or four times I remember last season uh, where Marquez Valdez Scantling was wide open. I mean, if he just would catch the ball right in his hands, is right there. He had a touchdown, right? And he had three or four of those where he had just blown by his corner in coverage there and had a wide open catch and couldn't even haul her in, right? As well as the fumble against the Colts in overtime. So hopefully this guy's a little more sure-handed. Um, maybe bring a little added dimension to our punt returns and kickoff returns because we've been pretty weak in that area the last couple of years. And I think we finally got our next Randall Cobb-style uh, slot receiver, you guys. So pretty happy with this pickup here. I'm actually shocked he was still available in the third round. I thought Amari Rogers was going to be gone in the second round. Uh, but nonetheless, great pickup from the Packers. Hopefully uh, Aaron Rodgers decides to stay for at least one more year and we can have the Rodgers to Rodgers connection going. Um, but nonetheless, we needed some wide receiver depth, especially with no wide receivers on the roster next season. Obviously, we hope they sign Devontae sometime this year. Um, Valdez Scantling's in a contract season. If he has an outstanding season, I wouldn't be surprised if we let him go. Um, if we do keep Aaron Rodgers, just because he's going to demand a hefty salary if he does have a big time breakout year. Because he was good last year, but he, he has that potential to be great, right? Valdez Scantling's got potential to be great if he just would stop dropping the freaking ball. So hopefully Amari Rodgers can uh, fill in nicely in that slot role for us. Take a lot of jet sweeps and things like that. He's a bigger bodied guy, so he should get injured. Fingers crossed, he should get injured less than uh, Swervin Irvin because he was injured a lot last year. And I think he's only about 180 pounds, Swervin Irvin. This guy's 212, so he's a lot. He reminds me a lot of uh, Aaron Jones build because Aaron Jones isn't a super tall guy. I think Aaron Jones is only 5'9 or 5'10 as well. But he's also one of those 200 to 205 pound running backs, right? So he's got that nice build. Shouldn't get injured too much just because he is a little stockier of a guy. Um, but let me know what you guys think about us picking up Amari Rogers and trading up for him in the third round. I think it's a great pickup for the Packers. And uh, once again, you guys, this is Nizzy with Nizzy Sports Chat signing off. And thank you guys for watching. Peace.